Today we're going to talk about preservative systems. Since 1999, cosmetics has excluded parabens as a preservative system in our formulas. But why is this so unique? Parabens were not a part of a brand exclusion list until after 2005 when a study in the UK confirmed that this ingredient was being retained in the body through the lymphatic nodes. After the study was published, the consumer market began to avoid this ingredient in their product purchase choices, which created a massive shift in the beauty industry. Today, a brand cannot be competitive in the marketplace without avoiding this ingredient, but cosmetics never included it from the beginning. Instead, we chose plant-based preservatives as a brand from the beginning. Potassium sorbate and sodium benzoate are two of the most common preservatives found in the line. Potassium sorbate is a potassium salt of sorbic acid, which is found most commonly in berries. It serves as an antimicrobial agent for the formulas to prevent the growth of mold. Sodium benzoate is a salt of benzoic acid, which is found naturally in spices and berries. As a preservative, this ingredient prevents bacteria and fungi growth, which could cause instability in the formula. Another ingredient with continued concern is alcohol. Consumers and professionals alike have been taught that alcohol can be drying, sensitizing, and dehydrating for skin types. This is true when used in pure concentration, but in smaller amounts within a formula, alcohol can be both a preservative and a delivery system for active ingredients. You will find alcohol in cosmetics formulas such as our treatment serums, toners, and peels. In our treatment serums, alcohol works as a defatting agent, which helps to break down the protective barrier so that our active ingredients can penetrate more effectively. In this scenario, there is no concern for the skin to become dry, simply because you're going to be applying a moisturizer afterwards to help resupply that protective barrier.